Imagine a bustling colonial port, a critical lifeline for the American revolutionary forces in the South, suddenly engulfed in one of the most intense sieges of the war. Welcome to Charleston, 1780. In today's episode, we dive into the Siege of Charleston, a pivotal battle that marked a significant turning point in the American Revolutionary War. This siege wasn't just about controlling a city. It was a battle that influenced the course of the war, reshaping military strategies and altering the fate of a nation. So, what made the Battle of Charleston so unique and critical in the American fight for independence? Stay with us as we unfold the events, strategies, and untold stories of this historic siege. Let's start by setting the scene, understanding why Charleston was such a prized target for both the British and American forces. To understand the Siege of Charleston, we must first grasp its significance. Nestled on the South Carolina coast, Charleston was more than a mere city. It was a crucial economic and strategic port, key to controlling the southern colonies. Flashback to 1776, the British, recognizing its value, made their first attempt to seize Charleston. Despite their efforts, American forces, under the command of General Charles Lee, successfully repelled this early attack. This victory was not just a tactical win. It was a symbol of defiance and hope for the American cause. By 1780, the stakes had risen. The British, eager to quash the rebellion and cut off the South from the rest of the colonies, set their sights once again on Charleston, this time with a far more formidable force and a strategic plan. On the other side, the Americans, aware of Charleston's importance, braced themselves for what would become one of the most significant battles of the Revolutionary War. With both sides preparing for a showdown, the stage was set for a siege that would be remembered for centuries. Let's delve into how the British initiated one of the Revolutionary War's longest and most intense sieges. In early 1780, British forces under General Sir Henry Clinton and Admiral Marriott Arbuthnot launched their campaign to capture Charleston. Their strategy was methodical and calculated, designed to encircle the city and cut off any possibility of retreat or reinforcement for the American troops. As the British fleet arrived, they effectively sealed off Charleston Harbor, a move that not only blocked maritime support, but also signaled the siege's beginning. Simultaneously, British troops began to surround the city by land, tightening their grip on the American stronghold. Inside Charleston, American forces led by General Benjamin Lincoln faced a grim situation. With limited resources and manpower, their options were narrowing. Despite this, they began fortifying the city, preparing for the long and arduous siege ahead. The initial phases of the siege saw skirmishes and artillery exchanges, as both sides fought for position and advantage. For the residents of Charleston and the soldiers on both sides, the siege was not just a military operation, it was a test of endurance and resolve. As the siege intensified, both sides engaged in more direct combat. Let's explore the key battles and defining moments that marked the height of the conflict in Charleston. As the siege of Charleston progressed, the intensity of the conflict escalated. Key skirmishes and battles marked this period, each playing a crucial role in the unfolding battle. One significant engagement was the capture of Fort Moultrie. The British, understanding the fort's strategic position, launched a concentrated attack. Despite valiant resistance, the American forces were overwhelmed and the fort fell into British hands, tightening the noose around Charleston. Meanwhile, the bombardment of Fort Sumter became a focal point of the siege. Artillery fire thundered across the harbor as both sides exchanged heavy cannonades. The relentless British barrage, coupled with diminishing American supplies, began to tilt the balance in favor of the attackers. Life inside the besieged city grew increasingly dire. Food and ammunition were running low, and morale among the American troops and civilians started to wane. The harsh realities of siege warfare were becoming evident, with each day bringing new challenges and hardships. Despite their resilience, the situation for the American forces grew increasingly bleak. As we move into the next phase of the siege, we'll witness the critical moments leading to the fall of Charleston and its profound implications. As the siege wore on, the situation within Charleston became untenable. General Benjamin Lincoln, 
Realizing the dire circumstances and the minimal chance of successful reinforcement or escape faced a difficult decision. In early May of 1780, after weeks of relentless British assault and diminishing supplies, General Lincoln offered to surrender. The terms negotiated were honorable, allowing American troops to march out with the honors of war. However, this was a significant blow to the American cause. On May 12th, the British forces officially took control of Charleston, marking one of the biggest victories for the British in the Revolutionary War. The fall of the city was a severe blow to American morale and strategic positioning in the South. The aftermath was grim. Around 5,000 American soldiers were taken as prisoners, and the loss of men and material was substantial. This defeat also led to increased British confidence and dominance in the Southern colonies. The fall of Charleston was not just the end of a battle. It was a pivotal moment that reshaped the course of the war. Let's explore the aftermath of the siege and its far-reaching impact on the Revolutionary War. The fall of Charleston in May 1780 marked more than a military victory for the British. It signified a turning point in the Revolutionary War, especially in the Southern theater. The loss of such a crucial port and thousands of soldiers was a devastating blow to the American war effort. The aftermath of the siege saw the British firmly in control of South Carolina, with a significant boost in morale and confidence. This victory allowed them to expand their operations in the South, leading to further engagements and battles. For the American side, the surrender at Charleston was a sobering reality check. It forced the Continental Army to rethink their strategies in the South and contributed to a shift in their military tactics. The defeat also had a psychological impact, dampening the spirits of the American public and soldiers alike. However, this loss also served as a catalyst for renewed efforts and strategies. American resilience in the face of adversity would soon be tested again in the subsequent chapters of the war. While the siege's immediate impact was clear, its historical significance extends far beyond the Revolutionary War. Let's delve into the lessons learned and the enduring legacy of the Battle of Charleston. The Siege of Charleston was not just a chapter in the Revolutionary War. It was a lesson in military strategy and resilience. This battle demonstrated the importance of naval power and the impact of siege warfare in the 18th century. The tactics employed by the British and the American responses influenced military strategies for the remainder of the war. Particularly, it highlighted the need for flexible and adaptive tactics in the face of overwhelming odds. Moreover, the siege had a lasting impact on American military doctrine, underscoring the importance of protecting key strategic locations and the need for effective supply lines and civilian support. The legacy of the Battle of Charleston extends into modern military studies, where it is analyzed for its strategic significance and the lessons it offers in warfare. It stands as a testament to the complexities of war and the unpredictable nature of conflict. As we reflect on the Siege of Charleston, it becomes evident that this battle was more than a moment in history. It was a pivotal event that shaped the future of a nation. From the bravery of the defenders to the strategic acumen of the attackers, this battle encapsulated the myriad challenges and dynamics of 18th century warfare. It remains a poignant reminder of the sacrifices made and the strategic intricacies involved in the fight for independence. As we look at the modern city of Charleston today, it's hard to imagine the intense struggle that once took place here. Yet, the legacy of that siege continues to echo through the streets, a testament to the city's resilience and its significant role in American history. Thank you for joining us on this historical journey. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating stories from history. Don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think was the most impactful aspect of the Siege of Charleston?